We are visiting Satuli Canteen. This place has a wide variety of gluten-free options as a quick service. It is a marvelous place to get something to eat, and I've tried a number of things from here, but we're coming back again. Today I'm going to try the crispy tofu. I've tried the chicken. I've tried the beef. Um, we put in a mobile order, and our window starts in five minutes, so we're just sitting right outside, chilling for a moment. And we're gonna grab that spot as soon as it's available, get our food, we can sit inside or outside. We're probably gonna sit outside just these days because of the way it is. Uh, I've ordered a specialty drink and when it's done, if the lines aren't too bad, I think I'm heading over to Pongu Pongu over there to get a night blossom and maybe get the boozy version. Or I might just go see what the wait time is for Nomad Lounge because there are churros calling my name and they have no desserts here that I can eat. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Mm, I'm excited. So when I'm finishing up the meal, I'm going to see if I can join that wait list. And then Joe, go in. Can't wait. Look at that. Our food's getting made. It actually told me when it was time, so I didn't have to. Hi, guys. Can you see yourself? So we're getting the spicy chili fried tofu bowl with gluten reed allergy with the sweet potato hash and the charred onion. I could have gotten a salad base or I could have gotten another base that I didn't want. I don't remember what it was. And we're trying the Pandoran Sunrise, which is a non-alcoholic beverage. So as soon as it's ready, they'll send me a bus. I'll go inside, I'll get my food, and we will eat. Like I said, this place has a ton of gluten-free options. So we got some great things for you to try today. Let's see what we think. You're here at Satuli Canteen. So first thing, I'm gonna just put a lovely napkin over my dress, because it's very pretty. So we've gotten the crispy tofu bowl with the sweet potato hash, the green sauce, and the slaw. And we picked up the uh, Pandoran festive drink. We're gonna try the drink first. Pineapple juice Powerade, I believe. Nice, fresh. Pineapple's a little on the overripe, so it'll probably be perfect. Very nice, but that's not why you come here to eat the canteen. You come here to get the food. So you're starting with the, oh wow, incredibly crispy tofu that I almost can't get my fork into. So let's give it a try. So it's a little bit dry. with some of the uh, flaw and pan. So, for me, there aren't a great variety of bases to go with the tofu, because the tofu has a little bit of chili sauce on it. I mean, it's a slaw, let's see. It's quite but it could go Asian without a problem. But the hash itself, it's not burnt to it. Very, very, very slight. And the green sauce is one thing I didn't try yet. Almost like a, a green tomatillo salsa. Yeah, it's very Mexican flavor. So I probably should have gone with one of the meats rather than the chili flavor on the tofu. The flavors are good. There is a lot of flavor, which is nice. You know, rather than just getting lost in the miasma of plainness like last night's meal. Um, while I would like the tofu to be less dried, I, this would be a fabulous meal. I'd be thrilled for this. I am. I keep saying I want you to come here. I'm not doing it, so I'm really glad I made the opportunity. I'm going to put the, ha the um, hash with the, uh, the green sauce. The other sauce I could have had I believe it was like a green goddess sauce. The mobile order was relatively easy. Just look for the allergy friendly option. And that gives you some choices. It's a simple basic drink. Um, I'm looking forward to something more substantial flavor wise and kick wise at Nomad Lounge hopefully after this. It's all good. Very, very good. All right, so I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. You sit back and relax. If I have any more thoughts, I'll let you know. Oh, um, the entire meal, I believe, was $18.
Uh, let me see if I can check that for you. Yeah, drink, entree, tax, and everything, 1808. So I'll put the, I'll try to put the screenshot there so you can see that. So, terrific. Terrific, inexpensive, good flavor. You know, you don't feel like missing out. It's not the same burger and fries you get everywhere, the pizza, the chicken nuggets. It's something interesting. And they do have beef, chicken, and shrimp on top of the tofu that you could have. So, tons of options. Tons of proteins, um, three bases, and two sauces, I think is what it was. And you don't have to get the slaw, but the slaw is safe. I'm going to enjoy this. We'll be back with you soon. If it happens not you already. Please remember to hit the thumbs up to like this video. Uh, in the... Uh, a comment if you've eaten here before and what you've gotten that you like. And uh, share the video. Let everybody else know about it so we can get the word out. Make it happy. And Guess where I am? Scan the menu. Because it's gluten <gasps> free churro time! Yay! So I'm sitting down and relaxing. I am uh, outside, which is what I wanted. Luckily, that's what they gave me automatically. I, of course, wish I could be sitting in the big loungy seats, but that's for four or five people. And I'm not a four or five people, I'm a one. So it's just me, and we're gonna have churros, and we're gonna have um, other good stuff, and eat my churros. And I'm excited about the churros. Can you tell? So excited. But we'll deal with all of that soon. Hey guys, gluten free churros are here. Drink is here. I gotta tell you, uh, maybe it's that I've been away for a while. That is one of the best tempting tigresses I've had. They put just enough of the extra sweet in there. Not sugary sweet, but just take a little bit of that burn off. Um, I have left lots of lipstick on the glass. I feel bad about that. Not enough to not do more. But I got my gluten-free churros. You get five churros, little, little short churros. About, about the width of my hand, which is not huge. Oh, oh, there's a boat coming. Hold on, let's show you. So, wonderful blue churros today. The, th the sauce is thick. The vanilla crema is thick crema. I am so happy. Um, just the chili spicy sauce. The only sad part, the churros themselves when they arrived were a little cold. But, still have that light crispness. It's a great flavor. Mm. So happy to be here. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy these. I'm so sated. So happy. Gluten free churro. Tempting tigress. Mm. Water. Oh, I love it. A great Christmas. What an exciting experience is about to happen. You see, New Orleans is known for beignets. And they have them here. In fact, they have Mickey shaped ones. However, those are not the ones I am excited about. What they have here that I can't get pretty much anywhere else are gluten-free beignets. They have three different dipping sauces. I believe one comes with the beignets. There's a chocolate chicory, a caramel, and a strawberry sauce. Now, there have been some questions about which of those sauces are gluten-free, so I'm gonna ask the chef when I go. They also have pipettes you could squeeze in them to make them alcoholic. I don't need to make them alcoholic. I just want the beignets. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I'd use a dipping sauce because they're so good on their own. But I have been waiting for this for so long since these guys closed. And uh, yeah, it's got to happen. Today is gluten-free churro day, which was earlier in the day. Gluten-free, incredible beignet day. Uh, Merry Christmas to me, you know? <laughs> and once we do this, then we're gonna head into Hollywood Studios, figure out what we wanna do for real dinner, I've got an idea, and then we're gonna try some rides, see what's available, and go have some fun. Let's go in. Now they used to be there at Sasagula Float Works, but they moved right before the closure over to Scat Cat Cafe, which actually had been a jazz bar. I don't think it's reopened yet. And I do remember loving the colors here. 
And I love the colors. All right, let's go in. Okay, so here is the items. So I just got the three because we are going to be going back into the park. And I got an extra sauce. And it looks like they didn't charge me for the sauce, actually. Yeah, they, just, they didn't charge me for the sauce. That's very kind of them. Merry Christmas to me. So, um, I picked up two or three sauces. And I just, another woman in front of me was gluten-free. We ordered the gluten-free ones as well. And she reminded me that the caramel is never safe. You just you can't do that. But the strawberry sauce is very, very fresh. And the chicory chocolate is a very dark chocolate, so it's got a nice kind of a warmth to it. So we're going to try both of those and see what they're like with these. Beignets are being cooked right now, and we're ready to enjoy them. Yay, we're here! It's time! I have my bag! A gluten-free beignet. Covered in sugar. So much sugar. Alright, oh, I forgot to get napkins. I'm going to go do that. Cover the dress as best as I can. Cover the dress. Oh my goodness. Because lots of sugar. All right, so we have the straight beignets and we have two different sauces. Oh my God, they're fresh out of the oven. Hot, 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 fresh. All right, we're dipping in the strawberry sauce. Oh, that is really fresh. I feel it interesting. Like curried strawberries. That's really good. I don't like fake strawberry flavor or something similar. Now we try the chocolate. Okay. Dark chocolate, hot sauce. It's a lot of sugar. Even that being a dark chocolate, not super sweet, it's a lot of sugar. Let me try the sugar. Mm. I'm just going to keep enjoying these, sorry, I have a piece of that food. It really is but the center of the candy or truck. I can say. Right, I'm just going to have it plain. It doesn't need anything. I'm really sure. It doesn't need anything. Mm. It doesn't need anything. Oh dear. We've had sugar powder explosions happening around here. I think. Because of the sweetness already has, plain is great, it's got even a crunch to it. And the strawberry went because of the tartness of the strawberry. I really like that too. Again, so I would almost prefer raspberry, personally. But since strawberry is what they have, that's what I'm doing. And the chocolate, then I'm just going to taste it straight. And yeah, it's a coffee chocolate. It's still really sweet. You know, it's not as sweet as a milk chocolate or something, but it's still it's sweet. I'm going to enjoy these. Merry Christmas to all of us. Oh my god, the cup of sugar just came out of it. I mean, the, oh my god. Mm, it's still so hot. Hey, awesome. Hi guys. So we are at Woody's Lunchbox. Woody's Lunchbox, this seems to be my day for doing quick service. So Woody's is a quick service restaurant uh, outside of Toy Story Land, or in Toy Story Land. Uh, they, I've heard some raves about a couple things. Now I've heard raves about their brisket sandwich. I didn't get that this time, because they also have tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. And doesn't that sound like comfort food? It is starting to cool down in here. It's not cold yet, um, especially because I was just inside. But it is starting to cool down a little bit, so I'm looking forward to uh, a little cool, a little comfort. My order is being made, and once that's ready, we'll go up and eat. I'm excited to try this and to tell you what this gluten-free option is like. Again, what is Lunchbox? Gluten-free dining. Okay, sadly, I had to change tables, because someone took my table. So, we have... Mm, 
see if I can get a picture of it for you, of tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich with potato barrels. We're gonna, and a cup of water, just a cup of water for me. So we're gonna start with the toasted, wow, melted, melted, melted grilled cheesy goodness here. Wow, that is, wow. All other cheese, awesome. All right, so I'm going to dip, well, I'm gonna eat it straight first. Good grilled cheese. Toasty hot bread. Melty, melty, dewy cheese. Now we're gonna try a potato barrel. Potato barrel. It's nice to be able to get them. That's, you know, it's a little cold, but you know, end of the day. The soup, however, I'm curious to try now. I gotta say, it's my shape of all tomato soup. Tomato soup to me is like eating pasta sauce. Good, but it's like eating pasta sauce. So, the classic thing to do is to dip your grilled cheese in the tomato soup. So, we're gonna give that a try. That is very tasty. But it's very, very tasty. I'm dipping it in again because, mm, oh wow, and that soup is hot. Ooh, awesome. So, this is a lovely option. Like I said, the brisket sandwich I'm told is very good. Great quick service opportunity. I ordered this directly through the mobile app. And they confirmed it was gluten allergy, gave me the allergy stick. So they, I know they did it the right way. And it was easy. I've got a reservation to drink here after the park is closed. And I thought that I was going to be one of the last ones, but I found out someone has one at 10.05. That's my new song of the night. It really is just an incredible space to be in. And when you do see someone pulling out their sabers and fighting with them, oh man, it just, it's magic. It's just magic. Hi guys, we're inside Olga's. I see chemists waiting for my order. I will show you the very exciting QR code for those playing along at home. Now, Drew, do you remember when I told you there were no chairs when we stood at the bar and you told me no, we sat? And I said, no, we didn't. Guess what? There are no chairs when we stand at the bar. <laughs> So it is 9.43, this place, the park closed about 45 minutes ago, and I'm here, because that's what you do. So, and I'm not the only one who's, who's here, I mean, there's reservations even after my time, this is crazy. So the last time I was here, the chemist that I spoke with gave me a great suggestion. He said, the jet juice needs to be served over ice. It's a trick, it's a secret thing, it makes them all better. Somebody is getting full new stuff on top of their drink. It looks unhealthy. Just the way we like it. Oh, and the hair is officially falling down. Well, it's cold enough outside. We'll let it do its thing. I was hoping it would stay up for the day, but it didn't. But Oh, so good. So good. Alright. I've eaten quickly and run around a lot today. So we're gonna have our jet cheese. It's got a nice little burn to it. I know if you um if you look it up. It's got a little bit of chili liqueur in it. Um and a bourbon. And it's got a nice sweet edge to it. Everything is pre-mixed. You cannot get sorry. Everything is pre-mixed. You can't like say, can I get it with extra this or that or definitely can't do that. What a nice way to end Christmas. I hope this has helped you in ordering your next meals at Disney and trying to eat gluten free. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my content, more of my dining reviews, please hit the subscribe button. There'll be a bunch more coming up. I'm so excited to share all of this with you, and I hope you're excited to share it with me. And then, um, I don't have a tagline. 
Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?